So now I want to talk about how to create communications that have a real impact. And we're going to use a model here to help you. Now you will be briefing agencies to develop your communications, internal or external, or designers, or you will be producing them yourselves, um, especially with smaller charities where you're actually having to produce communications right copy yourself. So hopefully this is a helpful uh, tool to use to assess the quality of that communication. Uh, and it's something that advertisers use all the time. I'm gonna um, go back to the model um, I mentioned before, which was the ADA model. Um, and we're gonna just look at this at every step. So first of all, how you grab someone's attention. So does that communication grab your attention? And the sort of tactics that people, um, the advertisers will use are bold headlines, humor, asking a question, a striking image. However you do it, it needs to be a simple way, an impactful way to grab someone's attention. Once you've got their attention, you then need to sell the benefit or solve a problem quickly. Uh, it's about gaining their interest and their desire. Um, so you're moving them down the funnel. And there are different ways that you can sell uh, benefits. There are more immediate benefits, but there are also emotional benefits that advertisers will pull on when you see advertising. So for example, if it was a um, volunteering advert, then the immediate benefit might be that it helps you to gain some experience to put on your CV. So there's a benefit for your CV, but the emotional benefit is taking it a step further that it will give you the confidence to go out there and get a job or to progress your career. And there are other emotional benefits as well. So for example, that volunteering role might be around a passion that you love. So it gives you some joy. So there's the, the benefit of joy from doing something you really, really love. So just think about the different benefits and how that comes across in the in the advert or the communication. So it draws me in um, because the, it meets the customer need, it solves their problem, and it's uh, selling that benefit. Then you wanna to get to the call to action. And this is uh, really important. It needs to be simple, uh, a specific ask. So uh, donate today, volunteer now, grab a bargain, whatever it is, but just something really simple and succinct so think about that call to action and you want to look at that communication overall to, to check that it ticks these boxes and i quite often run uh, adverts or communications by somebody else who's not so close to it just for their instant opinion or reaction to it or a number of people just to sense check it as well as thinking about um who else it needs to be run by within the organization so for example there may be a check with brand or compliance for example but you will have your own processes for that and a quote here which i think is really useful and really helpful is from leo burnett who's the uh, ceo of uh, a big advertising agency and he says you know when you look at any communications to make sure that they are simple memorable inviting to look at and make it fun to read. So that's uh, I think a good quote there to use. So I just wanna talk about the power of storytelling. Storytelling is used a lot by brands and advertisers. Uh, telling real stories about people, it conveys emotion, it engages people, it connects with them and it's authentic. And there are some great brands out there and examples of storytelling. Here are just a couple. The first one in the top here, is Nike, a brilliant ad that tells a, an incredible story just with that visual and that message, really, really impactful. And the visual below is from Patagonia, the shop in Bristol. That tells a story about the product itself and where the product came from. And that really engages people from sustainability and a pr um, point of view. So brands and products can tell stories, but we have so many incredible stories to tell as a sector. And you just want to look to see whether you are utilizing the stories and how good you are at storytelling. You know, if you were going to score yourself a uh, mark out of 10 and whether you can dial up those stories. And quite often it's the local stories that can have the most impact. So just think about the different stories uh, that you could use within your communications and your marketing. You've got stories about the benefactors of the cause and some great uh, stories and facts and information about the impact people's donations and purchases and time will make. You know, tell those stories. And also stories about volunteers. They've got some incredible stories to tell why they volunteer, the impact it's had on them, 
for it may have um, helped them to make, make new friends, give them confidence, help to get a job. There's some incredible stories there. And you've also got stories about the donations themselves um, that have been passed on. They may be from a house clearance, or they may be a really treasured donation with a story to tell. Sometimes we know that we even get notes from donors um, to tell a story about that product because it's really treasured to them. And it goes on to create new stories. Um, it could be a fantastic book that someone then reads and it makes a difference to their life. It could be a toy that they remember their first toy as a child. It could be a piece of furniture that was upcycled as a feature piece within a new house or a dress for a special occasion. There's some really incredible rich territory for storytelling that we have. And the shop itself can also be a great area for stories. It could be an anniversary or a birthday, or there might be something special about the shop within the community, or a member of the shop team, like the manager, maybe a real character within the, within the community. So just think about the stories that are available that you can tell through uh, PR and social media and in other communications. It gives you really rich content and it connects you uh, with your community. And here is a quote from Christina Jones, who's the CEO of Salesforce. And I think it's really important to remember as well that representation within that storytelling really matters because we all have different perspectives and see the world in different ways. So it's important that those stories represent our customers and our communities.